Another big topic on Capitol Hill surrounds one of Tennessee's most famous and controversial figures, Nathan Bedford Forrest. Yeah, the Confederate general and Grand Wizard of the KKK has a bust in the state capitol and a state day to commemorate him. Well, News Channel 5's Kyle Horan has been talking with lawmakers, and Kyle, there's a chance that both could come to an end this year. Yeah, the debate around Nathan Bedford Forrest has been going on for years, especially around that bus. There are some that say that that's just a part of the state's history and it shouldn't be erased. There are others that say, though, that that history shouldn't be honored here. So around the corner, as we are trying to work on changing the course of how we retell the stories of Tennessee history, we want to make sure we are pushing the stories of those who made a positive impact on Tennessee's history and not someone who made a negative impact. Featured prominently in the state capitol, the bust of Nathan Bedford Forrest. His past, called painful by Governor Bill Lee, is of slavery and of the Ku Klux Klan. The bust has drawn protest over the years since it was placed in this spot in 1978. Some call it a symbol of history. Forrest was a Civil War general, a celebrated leader for the Confederate Army. But State Representative London Lamar says that history belongs in a museum. He doesn't need to have a bust in the Capitol where every day I walk past and I look at him and I know what he's done. Um, to many of my ancestors and, and those who are part of my community. Forrest also has a day dedicated to him in Tennessee. A state mandate requires the governor to sign a proclamation in honor of the Confederate general every summer. Representative Lamar has written legislation to end it. Legislation Governor Lee asked for after the last time he signed the proclamation, saying, quote, I want Tennesseans to know where my heart is on this issue. Our state's history is rich, complex, and in some cases painful. With this in mind, I will be working to change this law. We don't want to dissuade anyone from moving to the great state because we are so concerned about honoring someone like Nathan Bedford Forrest. We're also expecting Governor Bill Lee to bring forth his own legislation that will be very similar to this. Reporting live at the state capitol, Kyle Horan, News Channel 5.